don't recommend for you to be, uh, violate bee space. Uh, so uh, do that at your own peril. At your own peril. Oh. Come on, girls. Hey, WW Tubies. <clears throat> Scott here from Wee's Beeves. We got another great video coming your way. So roll that beautiful bee footage. Hey WW Tubies, Scott here from Wee's Bees. Uh, early April here. Everybody knows we're expanding, so along with expanding comes a lot more work. So what we're going to do today is we're going to get into our new hives. You got three pound, three pound, four pound, four pound. Uh, I'm going to get in here and check them out. We're going to try to put some uh, honey supers on uh, to get honey maybe, or if nothing else, just to get them to draw some comb out. So. Let's see if we're loose. Of course not. We uh, got everything glued down as usual. Yep. So let's get this comb off of here. Don't need to be there. Alright. Let's see if we can get it off of here yep all right there we go so oh man oh my goodness well they are at it again uh building oh my goodness look at all that comb and honey they're building all right uh let's see how we're looking here we uh are not looking the way i hope we would let's smoke the bees down and see what we got here Yes, we're going to have to wait. Eh, we may go ahead and try it anyway. Uh, poor things, but we squished a few bees. And what say it happens, unfortunately. All right, we still got drone comb in here. It looks like, wow. Uh, honestly, I don't think we're going to mess with these just yet. We're going to go ahead and leave them the way they are. Uh, because they still got all this drone comb in here that hasn't hatched, we're going to just leave them alone for now. Uh, there's a lot of bees in here from what I can see. They have built a lot of comb. Alright. Uh, this hive is pretty, pretty big. So, it's probably a good time to do this. As you can see, all that comb that I scraped off. Uh, wow. They done come back and made more. Man, these bees are very prolific uh, comb builders. They got a lot of honey in here. So, since I don't want to mess with their, their comb and their and their uh, all their drone in here that they've built we're just going to go ahead and we're going to add this right now so we were going to add a honey super like so I know we need to check it but we can't really check it right now with everything that's going on so uh, we got this other little magic tool here this is a uh, frame spacer uh, what I've seen from a lot of folks when they're when they're doing uh, uh, honey supers, and as you can see, your uh, your frames are a lot smaller. But what they'll do is, oh, there goes a drone. Uh, they will add these things, and I'm going to add it just to see if they'll build it out. Uh, if not, maybe they'll build some honey or whatever. 
but we're gonna uh, I'm gonna try to if I can yeah, this just thing working well. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. That's just little by little move these bad boys down. Like yep, like that. Alright. So we'll evenly space them. Like that. In the uh, hive. Make sure that they are evenly, yeah, not quite, evenly spaced, like so. Nine frames. This is a 10 frame box. So, what we want to do is we want to give them, what this does is this gives the bees extra room to build uh, comb for honey. And you want them to do that because they'll actually build these frames out wider. Uh, unfortunately, since they've got all that going on down in there, I'm not going to really mess with it. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. The wife reminded me that I am a dummy. Yep. Okay. How in the world are we going to do this? Uh, we got all these bees up here. Holy smoke, what a mess. There's, this is probably one good reason for you not to put spacers on your hives. <laughs> because uh, they will build a lot of comb so uh, we got to figure out how we're going to do this yep anyway that's the queen excluder I just put on thanks to my wife reminding me that uh, you have to do that to keep the queen from popping up there now I got everybody out of whack again so we need to check them again there we go Get everybody lined up like that. It makes them nice and even and spreads them out a little bit. Nine frames in a ten frame. Uh, what in the world am I going to do with this thing? I just don't even know. Wow, what a mess. I have got a supreme mess here. This is all honeycomb they're, they're building. So, uh, I guess what I'm going to do is try to shake or smoke or whatever I can with these bad boys. Let's see if we can get them smoked down. Come on, girls. Yeah, I know you don't like it. And I don't like to have to do it, but that's just the way it is. What I'm going to do is try to shake some off. If I can without messing anybody up there we go uh, we're gonna try to get them off of there and this is gonna really make some folks mad uh, I don't know any other way to do this uh, the bad thing of it is we got we got drones up in here. Come on, girls. I know this is not the best situation, but we all got to make the best of a bad situation. That's hot, girl. Don't, don't stay on there. Uh, yeah, they're mad. So... Now what to do? We got bees everywhere. Bees all over me. Bees all over bees. Come on girls. Let's try to see if we can smoke the girls down. Come on. I know. I'm not happy. Well, I'm not happy having to do it, but got to get all this mess off of here somehow and that's why they don't recommend for you to be, uh, violate bee space uh, so uh, do that at your own peril at your own peril Oop. come on girls 
what in the world am I going to do here? I got a mess. I got bees everywhere. I know what I can do. I will do this. There we go. I got a bunch of them. Now what I'm going to have to do is to get these girls off of here. I'm going to scrape this honeycomb off. And, uh, and that will, oh my goodness, look at all that honey. Oh my goodness. Uh, that'll give the girls something to take care of there. Now this here just looks like burr comb. Whoop. Yeah, there went the feeder. No biggie. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and take off the burr and the honey. Ooh, man, what a mess. What a mess. That is the downside to uh, my latent bee space. I told you guys about that. And this is the result. Unfortunately, the good thing is all this burr comb doesn't come with a lot of uh, bad. Yep. She is just stuck on there with honey. Come on, girls. I need you girls to get out of the way. This video is going to be long trying to figure this mess out. Dad got burr comb on here and honeycomb. Yeah, come on girls. I need you to get out of the way. Yeah, sorry. Now we got a little bit less of a mess now. Let's try to shake the bees off. There we go mess 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 okay oh my goodness look at all that honey uh, honey 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 the girls love all this honey they will they will get all this stuff and eat it and uh, we're gonna go ahead and scrape all this off for them so we can start fresh There we go. We pretty much got everybody off. We got all the burr comb off. Now, what we are going to do is, there we go. All right, we're going to put this bad boy up here like so. There we go. Now, we got our bee space back. We are going to see what happens anyway because there was so much burr comb in there I really couldn't get in the hive like I wanted to uh, the best thing you can do is deal with one problem at a time we call that uh, I can't remember the name of it anyway uh, burr comb and honeycomb I needed to get it out the way and everything hopefully when we get in here next time we'll actually be able to uh, the hive inspection and everything but they're exploding and everything so we need to give them some room to build some honeycomb anyway as you saw uh, I violated bee space and I'm paying for that uh, I added a queen excluder and a uh, honey super we spread them out and everything so that's all we're going to do for now any questions uh, like and subscribe or like and subscribe whichever way it is I can't remember uh, make any comments you want uh, I want to say uh, shout out to all of our military and our veterans we appreciate everything you guys do and uh, you know, thank you for your service other than that we're gonna let this one go for now and we'll talk to you later bye